What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video. Today we've got a pretty interesting one. There's a lot of mail, and there's potential to be great video. This could also be a crappy video. So we're going to start off with the mail. Um, and we're going to start off with probably the best item I have here, which is pretty awesome. A sealed Pokemon Blue version. So, if you don't know, if you never played Pokemon, so you're probably one of, like, one of the few that did not play because <laughs> these are these were huge back in uh, when they this game came out in 1998 so from then on this game was super popular this and red version basically the same game it's just uh they had like two different versions so you could uh like trade to get different variant pokemon and stuff like that so um this game is 21 years old and it's still sealed so it's really really awesome um, as you've seen, I have a silver, well, actually, did I yeah, I showed silver version, yellow version, and ruby version. So I have those three, and now I just added this one. Um, I'm looking to get red, yellow, blue for the first gen, and then silver, crystal, and gold for the second gen, emerald, ruby, and sapphire for the third gen, and, well, as well as, um, leaf green and fire red for the third gen, and then that's probably all I'll get, but super, super awesome pickup there. We're gonna set this back there. It's actually in really nice shape, um... Super awesome um, straw hat from uh, Instagram hooked me up with that one, so it was pretty awesome. Next, we're gonna get into another Instagram purchase. I think I didn't bring the card, but this one was from Pokemon Revolution on Instagram. Um, he's also on eBay, huge eBay store, big Instagram following. He's a really got really nice guy. He's has a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff now. He's mostly a Pokemon guy, but he has a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh um, product and stuff like that. So super cool guy. He sent me. Or I bought from him, I should say. Three play mats. So we're actually gonna have a different play mat in the background for once, maybe. I do love this this mat, but these were really cool. So these first two were pretty cheap. These look like they're sealed. So I guess I'm gonna open this thing. Actually, this one maybe not. He just had this bag, I think. So the first two did not cost too much. See, I just thought they were cool. Oh gosh. That thing is stuck to my hand. This is gonna be really hard to show, but this is a Turbo, oh, wait, 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 Junk Warrior? I almost said Turbo Warrior. I think it's Junk Warrior. Um, 5Ds mat. So, this thing's pretty awesome. Um, I think this was like 15 bucks, something like that. So, you may see that one in the background when we open some 5Ds. Pretty awesome. So, I'm going to roll that up for now. Because, yeah. Um, I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> it's freaking huge. So, that's pretty cool. Got a new mat, finally. Next one we got was also pretty cool. It was also another 15. I had the same price. I can't remember what the price was exactly because he lowered it from his eBay price because he took off the fees and stuff. So this one was, I'm not even honestly sure. I think this is a uh, some sort of synchro dragon, but it looked awesome. Oh, this looks like, uh, this is the one out of Star Sh Strike Blast, isn't it? Which is, um, oh gosh, Shooting Star Dragon? Or something like that? I can't remember. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we can find it. I think I have the card. Okay, so that one is super awesome. Let me see if we can find the card real quick and figure out what that monster is exactly. Yeah, Shooting Star Dragon. Nailed it. Alright, so we got a Shooting Star Dragon uh, mat. And then finally, the big one which is really sweet. This thing is actually unopened. So I guess we're going to open it because I mean, who buys a mat to not open it? So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing. <laughs> this is a super old one too. Look, never been opened. Old school Red Eyes Darkness Vampire Genesis play mat. Shonen Jump right there. This thing is like 2005, 2006 old. Like Super cool. So it's still in there. So I guess I'm going to open this thing up and probably use it because this is probably the coolest mat ever. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this mat and remember it. You definitely remember the starter deck with Vampire Genesis and uh, Red Eyes Darkness because, I mean, just super cool art on those. Like, not very valuable cards, but the art was crazy. Then also he sent me this. It says, thanks, Philip. That's my name, by the way. Pokemon Rev, which is also Nick. So make sure you guys check out his Instagram and stuff. He's really cool. He sent me a free Ancient Sanctuary pack, which is very, which is kind of ironic because we're about to uh, check out some Ancient Sanctuary packs. So first of all, obviously we're gonna open this. So thanks again, Nick. 
for the free Ancient Sanctuary. Let's see if we can pull like a uh, uh, Burst Stream of Destruction or something like that. A Dark Magic Attack Unlimited to match our first edition. So, <laughs> did he give us a Hollow Pack? Okay, Opti Camouflage Armor, Metal Armor Bug, Soul Array, Goblin King. Oh, he did, the first Sarcophagus. I mean, like a 50 cent card, but I mean, free hollow. I mean, you can't complain about that. So, thanks again for that purchase, Nick. We got a Vampire Lady Enchanted Fitting Room, Sand Gambler, and Walls Revealing Light. If you haven't seen my Ancient Sanctuary First Edition box opening, I did do that. Let's see, how, how long ago was that? A couple months ago? That was one of the first videos when I kind of went full time. Uh, not <laughs> full time. I, I mean, my YouTube channel was all card openings, not like. Uh, dual links or anything. So, here's the nitty gritty of the video. We've gotten through all the cool mail. That's no problems with that. Sweet hollow pull. Here's some packs I opened. So, or I didn't open. I bought. So, <clears throat> I bought these packs as well as eight Pharaonic Guardian packs from a seller on eBay. The eight Pharaonic Guardian I've already opened. I made. I was making a video for it, and we pulled no hollows. So automatically pretty suspicious there you know no hollows you should out of eight packs old school you should get one to two hollows the ratios are one every six packs for supers so you would think you'd get one out of there probably and then the ultras are one out of 12 so you might not get an ultra but you also have a good chance of getting an ultra and then you know you could maybe get a secret so eight's probably not enough to like be sure you really can't ever be sure but you can be pretty sure so we have 10 Ancient Sanctuary and 8 Strike of Neos here. We're just going to open all of them because I'm just not sure. Like, just look at these packs. Tell me, do you guys think these look resealed or it's possibly they could have been, possible they could have been weighed? Well, especially these. But the thing with weighing um, GX is it's really tough to weigh out ultimates. So I'm thinking the GX, they could be resealed. Because I was looking at some of these earlier and these looked a little... Where was it? On the bottom, I think. They looked a little... The glue was, was like, kind of sticky on there. It was weird. So I'm not really sure what to think there. So if we end up going 0 for 26, I'd say it's a pretty safe bet because these are supposed to be hobby packs. So the thing with hobby packs is they're coming out of a box. So if you pull out eight packs out of a box without weighing them, then you're going to get... You know, you're going to have a foil, right? Or if they're just random collection of packs, they came from boxes... Like, why would there be random non-hollows? Like, eight random non-hollows. It just wouldn't make any sense for them to be eight non-hollows. You could say, well, you could just have really bad luck. You could have just pulled, you know, nothing out of eight packs. But you're supposed to get six, seven, eight pulls out of these. So, how are you going to get eight pulls and they come from a box? Or a 24-pack box. So, somehow this person accumulated all these packs, which is... They probably, it, who knows, the seller could have gotten them from someone who weighed them themselves or resealed them or whatever. It's, it's unlikely you end up with a bunch of, if you're buying unweighed packs, that you end up with eight non-hollow packs. You should probably end up with a hollow. These would be easy to scale, so I don't have a scale myself or else I would check them and then I would see if there were any that had hollows before I opened them. But I don't, so I'm just going to have to open them to see if there's anything in there. So right now we're 0 for 8, so let's go ahead and start with... Um, Let's start with Strike of Neos because I think they're the most suspicious. It's like, okay, watch how they open. That just, it's just kind of weird, okay? I don't know. It could be wrong. I could be wrong. If we pull, if we pull like something, then I'll know that they probably didn't reseal them or anything, but I'm just a little suspicious right now. So, we got an Umbral Soul, Six Samurai Urenza, Change of Hero Reflector Ray, Six Samurai Zanji. Great Shogun, she ends up... Oh, there we go. We got a hollow. Okay, I'm starting to feel better now. Okay, I'm feeling a little better. If there are hollows in here, I'm, I am I mean, I don't want them to be resealed. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I want there to be hollows in there, you know? So, we actually pulled something, so I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. Maybe this video will be sweet. Raging Earth, Return of the Six Samurai, and Alien Psychic. So, we already pulled something out of the Strike of Neos. So, hopefully... I mean... Hopefully we pull something, and then, and then there, I don't have to worry about anything, so. Alright, okay, let's see if we can pull. If we pull, like, an ultimate, then that's definitely, I mean, they're definitely, well, as I said, it's hard to, to scale them, so maybe, I don't know. 
We're just gonna we're just gonna see what we get and enjoy the packs. Okay. I've never opened well, I have opened maybe one pack or something. Not much of Dragonia, so here we go. Electric virus, destruction cyclone. I couldn't even I was like, that's a common, and then I realized, wait, that's a hollow. Flashbang, lycanthrope, transmigration prophecies are rare. Silent Abyss, Raging Earth, Return of the Six Samurai. The Six Samurai are awesome. Alien Psychic. So, we're opening a lot of Six Samurai packs recently. So, we got a Transmigration Prophecy. I can't remember. Let's see if the ratios are on for GX, the exact ratios. Okay, here we go. Nine cards in every pack. There's one rare per pack, one every six is a super, and one every. 24 for ultras. Yeah, because the ultra rares are really hard to pull out of here because you're more likely to get an ultimate than you are an ultra. So, it's kind of odd, actually. Alright. Here we go. Ritual Ceiling. Six Samurai Yaichi. Firestorm Prominence. Uh, Legendary Ebon Steed and Frost the Source. We get an Anti-Fusion Device. Chuchulain the Awakened. Sage of Stillness. Shien's Castle of Mist. Okay. So we got nothing there. Frost the Source is a pretty cool card. These are supposed to be the hobby packs. So um, judging by the code, I believe they are. So this is the code. If the code is one off of the hobby box. And then the retail box is a few numbers away. So I think the retail packs are the one off of the retail box. So here we go. Urenza, Change of Hero Reflector Ray, Six Samurai Zanji. Zaka, Gruel of Dark World, Cloak and Dagger. That's a rare. I can't even see these rares for some reason. Raging Earth, Return of the Six Samurai, Alien Psychic, the Six Samurai Iru. Six Samurai Uru. Maybe we'll pull like a Ultimate Air Neos or something. There's a lot of good stuff in this set. There's the thing about these packs, they just feel really they're really easy to open, which is odd. Um there's a lot of good stuff. There's Ultimate Air Neos. There's Ultimate uh, Grand Neos. There's Ultimate um, DD Crow, but that's in retail. And then there's the Grand Master of the Six Samurai Secret, which is pretty awesome. Here we go. Advanced Ritual Art, Umbral Soul, Six Samurai Uriza, Change of Hero Reflector Ray, Sage of Silence Rare, Six Samurai Come On, Grin, Tactician of Dark Worlds, Swift Samurai Storm, and Silent Abyss. Sage of Silence, rare. So, okay, we so we got the Hollow, which gave us hope, and now we're kind of. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do if it's like if it, if we that's the only Hollow we pull out of 26, it'd be kind of weird. It's like we did pull something, but it was like, well, I guess I'll just like let it be. I guess. Six Samurai Riza, Change of Hero Reflector Ray, Six Samurai Z Zanji, Gorilla of Dark World, and Hero Metal. Alien Psychic, Six Samurai Uru, A Cell Scatterburst, and Puppet Plant. Well, I don't really have any cards from Strike of Nia, so I'm at least going to have commons and rares I don't have. Okay, this one just looks weird. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe, like, I feel like she, she might have bought them from. She bought them, like, some scale or resealed, and then some not. She said she got them from multiple places. Lycanthrope, Advanced Ritual Art, Umbral Soul, Six Samurai Uriza, Gene Warped Werewolf. There's a super rare, so I guess these are actually good. I mean, we're just getting supers, but Grim Tactician of Dark World, Swift Samurai Storm, Silent Abyss, and Raging Earth. Or it's also possible that somebody resealed them and just put the supers back in there because, you know, who cares about supers? But, I mean, I can't. You can't just be like, yeah, yeah, you, you just put the supers back in there. It's kind of hard to, kind of hard to say that. All right, so last pack of Striking Neos. We got a Ritual Ceiling, Six Samurai Yaichi, Firestorm Prominence, Legendary Ebon Steed. <laughs> we got three hollows, so I think these are probably pretty good. We got three hollows out of the Striking Neos. Maybe we just got unlucky on the front of Guardian, or maybe she she's bought them from multiple people, and some are scaling, some are not. You know, whatever. Turn the Six Samurai, Alien Psychic, Six Samurai Uru, and A Cell Scatter Blast. Burst, I should say. Okay, so we got we ended up getting three supers. So we can't really complain about that that lot. So hopefully the Ancient Sanctuary will have something. We have ten packs, so there should be something in there. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky. These are first ed packs, so 
If you haven't seen my Ancient Sanctuary box opening, um, I'll try and put that in the um, up in the uh, little eye up there. You can click on it and watch it. Um, pretty awesome pulls out of there. So here we go. The Law of Normal. This is the 11th set in Yu-Gi-Oh. The 11th original set. I guess Dark Beginnings and stuff. I can't remember when they came out, if they were before or not. But yeah, 2004. So old school. Metal Armored Bug. Solar Ray. Goblin King. Oh, okay, sweet. We got Hollows. Yes, Zaborg. What an awesome pull. Okay, this is great. This is great. All right, I'm so happy that these have Hollows on them. Okay, Enchanted Fitting Room, Sand Gambler, Wall of Revealing Light, and Rocket Jumper. This is, okay, I'm really happy now. So this might actually be a sweet video. We got some, uh, we got nine more packs. Maybe we'll pull a Ultra Rare Burst Stream of Destruction. Maybe we'll pull a Secret Rare. Um, Mazera, or, well, actually, I haven't looked at the, the code, so I don't know if it's End of Anubis or Mazera. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's go. Judgment of the Desert, Absorbing Kit from the Sky, Goblin Thief, 2,000 Needles, Talisman of Spell Ceiling, Spell, Spell, Spell Ceiling, Mermaid Knight, Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, Arcane Arch of the Forest, and Dust Barrier. So I've been looking to, to trade my MRL packs so it can, maybe we can open something different on the channel. Let me know if you guys want me to like sell them and get another set or if I should just go ahead and open the 24 packs because the good thing, the thing about those, you don't have to worry that they're scaled. I literally opened the box myself, so I know we're going to get pulls. So I'm thinking probably just open those up and have fun. Maybe pull a Relinquish or something. Maybe another tune, Blue Eyes. That'd be really cool. And then maybe I could trade it or something like that. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm probably going to open those. Oh, no. This pack is destroyed. I'm trying to save the pack art. Even though Ancient Sanctuary doesn't have the best pack art, but it's still old school as Yu-Gi-Oh on it, so. Nubian Guard, Backfire, the second Sarcophagus. I think that might be a short print. Three Home Plakuda, double cost, that's not a bad card. Blessings of the Nile, Legendary Jinjitsu, Jinjitsu Master, Beckoning Light, and KA2 Death Scissors. That might be a short print, too. When I was looking through the short prints for Ancient Sanctuary, when I was looking through my comments, there are so many. Like, I couldn't keep up with how many there were. All right, we got a few more packs. Come on. Give us something sweet. That'd be great. Like, go from thinking they're scaled to pulling something awesome. There's not a lot of va a huge value in this set, but, I mean, it's freaking awesome. Backfire. Three Hump Lakuta. Earthquake. Piranha Army. Soul Resurrection. Fiend Scorpion. Labyrinth of Nightmare. I love the cards that have the set names. Generating Mummy and Weapon Change. It's always kind of weird. It's like, that. why is that called Labyrinth of Nightmare and it's in... You know, not in Labyrinth of Nightmare, but I guess they're trying to, you know, advertise for their old sets. Yeah, go back and buy some Labyrinth of Nightmare packs. And everybody in Ancient Sanctuary is like, dude, definitely Ancient Sanctuary is garbage. Speaking of Labyrinth of Nightmare, I actually have a 24-pack opening that I did, and I'm not sure when I'm going to post it, but it was pretty sweet, so. Here we go. Nubian Guard. Kozaki, that's a short print for some reason. Backfire, according to the online. 3 Home Lakuta, Draining Shield. Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, whoops, Pharaonic Protector, and Desert Sunlight. Come on, give us a Burst Stream. No, Enemy Controller would be awesome too. Enemy Controller would be really awesome. Alright, come on. Give us something good. Disc Fighter. Soul Reversal, Aswan Apparition, Armor Break, Spell Economics, Wall of Revealing Light, Rocket Jumper, Light of Judgment, and Monster Gate. So this is going to end up being a long video. We're at 19 minutes already, so we've got a few packs left, then it'll be over. So pack opening and mail day all bunched into one, so hope you guys enjoy it. Our last video didn't do so hot. It was... Not, not a lot of people liking the video, so I don't know if I wasn't promoting it enough or whatever. Or maybe this video is crappy. I don't know. Possible. I thought it was pretty good. We got Max C, so. Earthquake. Piranha Army. Human Wave Tactics. Solar Flare Dragon. Special Hurricane. Vampire Lady. Enchanted Fitting Room. Sand Gambler. And Wall of Revealing Light. Alright, we got three packs left. We pulled one, one hollow, so hopefully we'll pull one more at least. Maybe we'll pull two. That'd be great. One, an ultra rare would be awesome. I don't care. Really, I do. I would prefer some, but any ultra rare would be great. Out of random packs. So, 
2,000 Needles, Order to Smash, that's a good card. The Kickman, Sword of the Soul Eater, Triangle Power, Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, Desert Sunlight, and Spirit Caller. Whoa. What just happened over here? Okay, we're still recording. All right, we're good. Computer is losing his mind. Probably like, dang, you are recording too long. All right. Come on, baby. This I have a good feeling about this pack. It feels like the goods. It feels like the goods are in here. Okay. Order to smash. The Kickman. Go Giga Gaga Gigo. Sword of the Soul Eater. Soul Resurrection. Fiend Scorpion. Labyrinth of Nightmare again. And Regenerating Mummy. And Weapon Change. Man, no goods in there. Whew. We started off with a hollow and we haven't hit one since. Man. Okay, come on. In with one. This is the one I was kind of looking at earlier. Maybe that we can end strong. Alright. The Law of the Normal. Metal Armored Bug. Solar Ray. Goblin King. Grave Protector. Spirit Caller. Blessings of the Nile. Legendary Jiu Jitsu Master. Beckoning Light. Oh man, so... I don't know. It started off like we had, we had a hollow. So we ended up with some hollows. So I can't really complain, but... Dang, it's a bummer. Alright. Let's see what we got out of our 18 packs. We got a Skyscraper. <laughs> well, we also got this. Don't forget about our 19th pack. We got a First Sarcophagus Unlimited Ancient Sanctuary. We got a Skyscraper 2 Hero City. Gene Warped Werewolf. Great Shogun Chien, that's a cool card. And then Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch, which actually looks like pretty nice shape. So that's pretty. That's a pretty good pull. So Unfortunate. I'm, I still don't know how I feel about this pack. So let me know how you... What you guys think? We did pull four ho four hollows, so I guess they're I mean they're not completely messed with. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we'll have more pack openings coming up. Hopefully they are legit and have a lot of good pulls. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Me